Today, we're going to be talking with Ingwe Mi, Huawei's president for GSM, UMTS, and LTE Network. What do you see for the mobile broadband era? The telecom industry is standing at a new development point. Over the past 20 years, mobile subscribers were exceeded 5 billion. The terminals and applications that exist today and will exist in the future will deeply change our behavior and lifestyle. Looking ahead to the next decade, the informatization driven by mobile broadband will redefine an intelligent, connected world for everyone, anywhere and anytime. Facing the explosive growth of MBB traffic, Huawei expects traffic levels to raise 500 fold within the next decade, while the signaling de increase 150 fold. More and more operators have deployed or are deploying LTE networks. How does Huawei envisage global LTE development? So almost uh, 250 operators and 6% more than one year ago have committed to commercial IoT network de deployments or are engaged in trials, technology testings or studies. We expect over 100 network launches by the end of 2012. So as of 2011 quarter three, Huawei has deployed over 140 single N commercial networks and has been involved in more than 50 commercial IoT contracts. According to the latest evolution to IoT report released by GSA, there are about 35 commercial IoT networks launched worldwide. 18 of them use Huawei's end to end single N IoT solution. That's a global share of over 50% of that is the number one in the industry. GSM, UMTS, and LTE will coexist for a long time. How does Huawei plan to help them in this uh, multimodal time? So currently, mobile operators are increasingly burdened by the simultaneous operation of multiple networks such as GSM, UMTS, and LTE and the associated problems that can result such as difficulties in site acquisition, high population expenditures, and also complex inter-network inter cooperation. Sudden raises in demand that takes network capacity, and the existence of outdated equipment operating on the current network that makes network evolution more difficult. Single line represents the future of mobile networks, and the core of single line is rooted uh, on the idea of one network, three features GSM, UMTS, and IoT. Huawei's single line solution allows operators to comprehensively maximize their core assets, including sites, spectrum, users, staff, and pipeline by transforming various technical modes into single end features. Can you describe Huawei's investments and progress in terms of LTE technology? Earlier in 2004, Huawei started a huge investment in LTE R&D. Huawei puts more than 10% of its annual re revenue into R&D and Huawei has over 4,500 R&D engineers dedicated to LTE and 1,500 R&D engineers in EPC. In 2010, Huawei invested about 340 million euros for LTE. And as of quarter three, quarter three of 2011, Huawei has submitted 7,900 LTE EPC contributions to the 3GPP, including more than 230 approved contributions for LTE core specifications. Huawei is the leading contributor and ranks number one in the industry.